mass, weight, and gravity. This is one of those annoying topics where the way we use a word in everyday life is in fact wrong in a physics context. When we talk about weight, what we're really talking about is mass. Now let me explain. Mass is the amount of stuff something is made up of. It's the same no matter where that object is. Think about this dumbbell. No matter where it is, it will always contain the same amount of metal. In this case, 60 kilograms of metal. Yes, the kilogram is the unit of mass, not weight. And in physics, we really need to remember this. Weight, however, is something that can change. Weight is a force and is dependent on the strength of the gravitational field you're in. If we actually find weight using the equation, weight equals mass multiplied by gravitational field strength. So on Earth, the gravitational field strength is about 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So the weight of a dumbbell on the Earth is 60 times 9.8, which is 588 newtons. Much too heavy to pick up. So what if we go to the moon? Well, the gravitational field strength on the moon is only 1.6 newtons per kilogram. So the weight of the dumbbell here is only 60 times 1.6, which is 96 newtons. Really easy to pick up. So even though the dumbbell has the same mass, it's made of the same amount of metal on both the moon and the earth, it's much, much easier to pick up on the moon as the gravitational field strength there is much less Therefore, the weight is also much less on the moon. The key points to remember here is that mass is the amount of stuff something is made of. It's the same everywhere, and it's measured in kilograms. Weight is the force a mass exerts due to the gravitational field it's in. And therefore, is different on the Earth, on the moon, or on Mars. It's found with the equation weight equals mass times gravitational field strength, and it's a force, so therefore it has the unit of newtons 